What's up, everyone? Uh, we will do a quick video about possible opportunities from last week and also um, opportunities now for next week. So last week, of course, we had some huge news about war. Best choice was to say, stay out of the market or only execute trades with really high confluence and very good confirmations. We start from the pairs that we usually trade. Here we have KGPY. KGPY had this area, this area manipulates and breaks structure to the downside. This area was really good. Looking for trades from here and I just didn't take them. That's why I didn't even send it to the members. I didn't look, didn't take them. Then we dropped and that was it. Next trade could have been from here, uh, from this supply, but I was not looking at this trade uh since uh we had some huge news about war uh so that was it for kgpy uh, many missed opportunities for me um this week actually if i have to be honest uh also because of some days i just decided to stay out of the market in general uh here we have brick structure to the upside on nzdgpy uh also this order block right here manipulates and brick structure to the upside so this order block was perfect right here and that could have been a very good trade let's see on lower time frames what happened here on lower time frames we can see that here supply is in control we break structure and this supply is in control okay then when is the next break of structure to break this it's here here we break structure so what broke structure what broke structure uh, the whole movement to the downside here broke the structure because here this move didn't break anything didn't break anything didn't break anything here we break so sorry here we break to the downside where are we starting from it is this whole move this is the last supply to be in control now where when do we break structure again we break structure here What's the movement where we start this movement that breaks structure? We started from here. So this is the next one in control. Okay. Next one in control. Where does it fail? It fails here. We break structure. Here we go up. Nothing happens. Uh, we don't create a new low. We go up. Nothing happens. We create higher highs, higher lows. We break this previous high, but this previous high is not in control because this previous high didn't break structure to the downside. This high is the high that broke the last structure to the downside so this is the high that needs to be taken out in order for us to consider longs here it is taken out again as always you have two options you either take the most um the order block all the way to the downside or the one that breaks structure so here this is the order block that breaks structure right here it is actually this whole move and this could have been the entry in the entry right here stop loss below the lows protected lows this is 22 pip stop loss usually i don't like to see stop losses this big but this is the confirmation that we got and even with just this target one to three restored ratio we went higher for a possible one to five now 22 pip stop loss not really my favorite type of setup but this could have been the entry again i didn't take this trade Let's go back to the one hour. We have EURUSD. EURUSD, here was the opportunity that I was looking for. And that's what actually happened. Um, broke structure to the downside here. We were bearish. I was waiting for a retracement. Here I actually had some quick trades. Then we retraced. These highs uh, worked as liquidity. And here we had a 15 minutes or the block that was mitigated we just stopped it i didn't take the trade and we just dropped we drop and we create a new lower low therefore we look for supply cells now we held the supply in this case uh, of course we could have had this supply or higher supply we would need to go on 15 minutes and see if there is a supply here in this week but anyway we reached the supply let's see if we had confirmation, for example, just to see, because um, we don't know if we were going to stop at that supply or a higher supply. So since we don't know, we go on our time frames and see if we have confirmation. Here, structure. 
higher high. We retrace to demand. And this is the demand that needs to be taken out in order for us to turn bearish. We go higher, we don't create a higher high. So uh, if here we create a higher high, then this becomes the demand that is in charge, is in control and needs to be taken out. But this doesn't create a new higher high, so it stays this one. It stays this one, and when is it taken out? It is taken out by this move right here, okay? This move right here takes out our demand. So supply is in control now. Supply is in control. Where do we trade from? We either trade from uh, the latest supply that broke this demand, okay? Or we need to spot some liquidity. In this case, these highs were liquidity. Um, now, in this setup, I would probably just trade it from here with stop loss above this area. Um, here, what happened was that we just went higher to tap into this old block. Honestly, I didn't like the setup in general, as this would have been my entry with demand failing, supply in control. My entry would have been here. Perfect. Uh, stop loss probably above this high. Perfect. 13 pips stop loss. And yeah, if you miss that entry, what happens after? We break structure to the downside. Again, we break structure to the downside. We can look for supply. Again, we, in this case, we don't reach it. It's okay. And that's it. And then once we come back, this is just a break even trade right here. This is actually a trade that now by looking at it, maybe I took, I will need to look at it better. By the way, we're going profit. Um, by this time, we go break even, breaking multiple times structure, and we take a break even. Now we come back, we come back and we mitigate this higher supply that we had right here. And what do we look for? Same thing. Break structure to the upside. We reach point of interest. We know that. Please remember, high time frames is bearish. This is why we're looking for sales here, because we started from higher time frames that we had this breaking structure and we retraced here. Now this is why we're looking for sales from here. Otherwise, that would not be our option. So we come back and same thing. We need confirmation. We just don't enter right away. This is the demand which is in control because broke structure to the upside. Here, of course, you can have some internal confirmation, but overall, this is the demand in control. Here it fails. Supply is now in control. Supply is now in control, and it can be again the latest supply that breaks that breaks the demand or higher supplies uh, to clear more liquidity. So in this case, we held this one. For example, uh, we'll need to go on the one minute to check. But anyway, let's say that even we enter here, just at this one, stop loss above here, again, 13 pips stop loss. And now we need to go on higher time frames to check for possible target. Possible target at next demand right here. Well, only one to three, but of course, this could have been a really, really nice trade. Okay. GPUSD. GPUSD, again, I sent a cell setup. If you go back on the Discord, it was from up here. I actually took cells from here, went to profit, and I closed them like right here one to three, restored ratio. They were on lower time frames, and this could have been amazing, uh, amazing drop. But anyway, other than that, there is no other opportunity on JPUSD. News just came out, went crazy. NZD CAD. Um, I didn't really take any trade on NZD CAD, even there was this supply which was respected. I'm not really interested as direction of the market was not clear. This demand got respected here. Not really interested uh, as. Uh, direction of the market was not clear, just a huge push to the downside. And with the news, I just decided to stay out of the market. Same thing here. Here, uh, the only clear setup would have been here, these cells. We have market structure failing. Here, this demand. 
fails to the downside, the supply is in control. You can trade from supply, looking from this supply, or we need to go on lower time frames and we find higher supplies and decide which one we want to trade from, and then look for confirmation. Look for confirmation, maybe let's just go and look for confirmation for declaration purposes. It's not a trade that I took, but um, you, you see the concepts are always the same. Went on lower time frames, and here we have this structure is not so clear, but we have this demand failing. And this is the demand where we basically only have this structure. This is minor structure, regular structure to the upside. Okay, and then there is no other structure. These are just red candles on the way up. We break demand, supply is in control. Again, we have this supply, we have higher supply. We need to decide which one we want to trade from. We need to check. Anyway, let's say we even trade from this. I'm just putting the worst case scenario because this could have been the worst entry. Stop loss above the protected high, 16 pips. And then it was just free falling. Now, um, normal target could have been just this demand again, one to four, one to five restored ratio. Then of course news came out. I would have personally just closed at one to five before this demand, but just to give a perspective, this could have been uh, one to 20, one to 18 restored ratio. But yeah, of course, um, did, <laughs> wouldn't, I would have just closed here, honestly. Um, GPUSD, GPUSD, please go look at case studies. I did a case study on this setup. It was a very nice um, setup. Uh, so just go and look at the case study, please. It's broken down. Your AD, not interested in anything in your AD, to be honest. It was just push to the downside retracement here. I wouldn't have known where to trade from. Push to the downside retracement. Uh, could have tried to um, trade from this supply, but overall, as I said already, with news, I mostly stood out of the market. Uh, here, GPCHF, wait, yeah, GPCHF, I missed these cells. They were perfect. Here we were consolidating, finally breaking through the downside. We have two possible supplies. This supply, this high, has worked as internal liquidity as we didn't have any other internal liquidity along the way. And these supply this order block is perfect because it manipulates as you know that's what we're looking for and breaks so that's perfect and the stopped it this high worked as liquidity went to the downside perfect adusd uh, adusd actually i missed a trade i was i would say that i missed the trade here uh this was this was just very very clear i really liked this as order block the reason why I choose this and not all the others is because uh, this was the last one that we had basically, last opportunity um, that broke structure to the upside. We break this structure to the upside where this move started from, starts from here. Because the previous structure is from here to here. And after breaking this previous structure, it is broken here, the move starts from here. So we either hold this or we changed structure. So this was the last one and could have been a nice trade from here that I didn't take. Let's see if we had some type of confirmation. Oh, uh, no, nah, it just went crazy. Just V recovery and not really any opportunity to get involved uh, right here, just very quickly to the upside. Anyway. Yeah. No, not any opportunity to get involved other than a pending order here. Uh, now for next week, let's go over opportunities from for next week. Even though I would stay safe on Monday, we have KGPY. KGPY possibly looking at this area. Overall, we have to recognize that the structure turned bullish after breaking this previous high, and therefore we will look at these demands on retracements. NCD, JPY, we are overall targeting the next higher high as we are 
bullish. So for now, I will not look at this supply. Your USD, we are pretty bearish. I will look at supplies to get involved. Either this one, even if I don't like it, better higher ones right here. Um, I don't like this one as it doesn't really manipulate anything. Here we have this internal manipulation and then break to the downside. So this supply is better for me. DBUSD, I'm not interested. Uh, NZD, CAD, overall, I we have overall a bullish structure that started from here and it's to here. Now, overall, to me, it looks like a bearish setup as we retraced, broke much of the internal structure, and now we are retracing to the downside. Anyway, I'm not really interested in it. Um, because of the news that came out and I will just stay out for one day and then I will share setups that are updated and maybe we changed structure and something changed actually. NCD JPY actually overall bearish will probably look for supply areas to get involved. Uh, also this one looks good actually. The difference between this one and the one I showed you earlier is that this one there is some internal manipulation of these little highs before dropping. I said I will look at it. I will not pen in order. I will look for confirmation. Here, I'm not interested in anything. Not interested in getting involved in anything for now. Oh, actually, your JPY will maybe look from these supplies here, what's happening. Yeah. So that's all. Um, of course, I will update during the week the setups. So right now, it's not. I don't really see some very good setups. And stay tuned.